Greetings Cubs, welcome or welcome back again. It is time to step into the lion's den. So today I'm going to be doing a reading on uh, Black Swan's new members, um, Shreya and Gabby. I thought there was originally going to be only one. I was um, surprised that they decided to get both of them on board. Um, but I'm glad, I'm definitely glad to see that Shreya made it in there. Uh, and we're going to see kind of like how things are going to go for them. So I'm, go I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do is kind of see how they are meshing well so far within um, the company. And kind of potentially getting to know and speak with the, the members. And just see how that's going for them. And then after that, what I'm going to do is also check uh, in on how they'll be received by the public. And then lastly, I'm going to check to see how, um, first of all, let me correct something, specify more, see how each member is going to be received by the public. And then I'm going to see how Black Swan overall is going to do with the new members added. So... Let's get started. I actually have not pre-planned this, so I'm I haven't decided on what uh, cards I want to use just yet. But um, one of them has caught my eye. Like what deck? So I'm going to have um, I want to say Shreya to my left and Gabby to my right. First off, let me just kind of make sure that at least most of these are upright, even though they're going to kind of come out the way they come out anyway. I didn't think about it. I usually don't use this deck, so this is, um, I don't know, you may have seen, you guys uh, may have seen me bring this one out, possibly, I'm not sure, um, recently. But this deck is called the uh, Wisdom of the Oracle. Um, yeah, Wisdom of the uh, Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. You can find it on Amazon. I believe it's still available on Amazon. I don't know if Hay House does tarot or oracles anymore. But um, there was a website called hayhouse.com where I could get these for $15 when there's no sale. And then like sometimes they would go as low as straight up $5 per deck. So you might want to check that out if you're interested in getting Oracle um, Oracle cards. Again, I'm not sure if they still do that. I haven't been to Hay House in a very long time. But yeah, check it out if you want to get some Oracle cards. Alright, so again, I said Trey to my left, Gabby to my right. So let's see um, kind of, I guess, how they're doing. What energy is around them um, and how they're doing within the company. Okay, that one, uh, I don't know where that's trying to land. Okay, and then Gabby. How's Gabby doing? Okay. So, so far for Shreya, Shreya um, definitely knows that she has an advantage here. Um, I'm, I was going to say I'm not sure why, but I mean, you see the talent that girl has? <laughs> She's very aware that she has an advantage, um, especially within skills and I believe in speaking the language. Um, but she's not done yet. Shreya right now has no plans on stopping. Um, as we even have, we have a leg up, unfinished symphony, clean it up, and message in a bottle. She plans on working harder, cleaning up her dancing skills, singing skills. She plans on making sure that there is no reason to doubt her capabilities and why she is in this group. She, um, and I do see with message in a bottle that she is getting 
like little whispers of praise from people around her. So that can be people in the company, the members, but they're little whispers of praise like, hey, like you're doing a really good job. I really want to tell you like you're really amazing. You're like you really stand out to me. <clears throat> But it's like trying to keep it on the low, like, you know, when you don't want, you don't want everybody else to know that, uh, um, you're being praised a lot. So it's like kind of like passing along the message and she's hearing the good praises that she's getting. And that's honestly what's keeping her going as well. Gabby, Gabby, we have... Treasure Island, go to the sea, flexible, time for a nap. So for Gabby, she's pretty excited that she's, um, honestly, it's, it's a lot of excitement about being sort of, I don't know if she originally lived there, but like being overseas, traveling, adventures, um, she is working on her, as we have flexible, She's working on her flexibility in, in either dance um, and everything, honestly. Um, she's, she's really working on kind of widening her um, skill abilities. and But we also have time for a nap, so it's like she'll work on something allegedly for entertainment purposes only. First of all, let me clarify, this is alleged for entertainment purposes only. Um, please take it with a grain of salt. It, I'm not claiming to know any of these people or members personally. Um, and I'm not claiming that this is actually what is going on with these individuals. Um, again, entertainment purposes only. Take what resonates with you, leave what don't. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, she, you know, she'll work and she'll do her little skills and practice in each of her segments. And then she'll go to sleep. You know, she's like, oh, okay, well, I'm done. <laughs> uh, that's tiring. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's like she, she she does her job and then she takes her break. But for right now, the energy around Gabby, she's more really excited about being overseas and, and traveling and kind of seeing new things. Again, I'm not sure if she was, if she originally was, you know, kind of over there in Korea, but... She's mostly excited for that. Okay. I'm still going to delve a little more. Um, let's see. What's, what's next? I want to see um, what uh, what's the company's energy towards them, actually. Start with Shreya. Like, how's the company and staff kind of feeling towards them. Ooh, wow, one of them fell on the floor. I don't know where it went to. Oh, I see it. Okay, it's a, it's a lot here. Um... What I'm going to do actually is also, let, before I continue, let me go ahead and see how old the members are. Okay, Shreya is 18. Why are they so young? I just want to know how old she's 17. Okay. So there's a lot of thoughts on Shreya. Um, so Shreya has a, okay, wow. So for um, Shreya, we start with daughter personal healing and happiness. 
the company staff, they see a lot of potential for her. Um, happy family, they definitely feel like she would be able to join and make, um, just be a good part in, in their entertainment company. Strategy victory. Yeah, they think they made the right choice with Shreya. Absolutely. We even have the heart chakra here. Um, we have the heart chakra here. Healer of the ages, man holding a coin, walking away, and door to value. Um, I'm going to be honest, for both of them, I see that immediately, even upon arrival, there are people that are romantically interested in them around the company, I think. You know, like all of the foreign horses kind of thing. Um, but it's interesting. <clears throat> It's something about Shreya or Shreya's energy that they really like. Like, she's a comforting type person. She seems to be... Because healing seems to be around Shreya. Some form of healing energy is around her. That makes people feel very comfortable around her. But anyway, I do see them both kind of getting offers um, from people who are interested in them. You know, it's a new dating pool that's opened up as they're, you know, now overseas or whatever. Um, now, I see Shreya kind of absolutely turning down um, any offers from these these men who are interested in her. And that does benefit her more in the end. It's like they, because I think people around them see that she's like turning it down. Excuse me. And they're like, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. That's a good look. Now, um, Gabby, on the other hand, she's... It, it, at least it shows she may be more open to dating. She, Gabby kind of has a little more of a relaxed energy. Um, she's kind of like, hell, I'm here, I might as well, you know. She's, she's kind of into it. You have Karen Connect, all, all I have here is Karen Connections. Um, and the Sacral Chakra. So, you know, it's not, it's not much. Let me see if I can get anything else for her on, on, you know, what the company um, or staff is feeling about Gabby. Cause I, I feel like there needs to be more. Like, come on, like this. Let's get some more for Gabby. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Um... So it's not really looking too great over here when it comes to relations with the staff and company for Gabby. In a sense that we start off with patience in reverse. So it seems like, and, and like I was seeing before, she's very excited to be overseas. She's very excited if she's not already been living there. She's very excited to be overseas. She's very excited to be, like she's open to a new world. And we have patience in reverse. She, okay. Patience in reverse and the garden gate. She doesn't want to stay tied down. She's there and she kind of wants to go out. She wants to travel. She wants to see, you know, what's going on in Korea. She wants to, she wants to do a lot of the things. And it seems like staff is kind of like she's too impatient. She's kind of like she's rushing to do things. She's, she's rushing to go out. She's rushing to start this other life, but we need to get her settled in first. So there is a little, there may allegedly be some issues with Gabby just being a little bit too excited to go out and do things. And it's not, it's just not the time right now. Um, yeah, it's not the time right now. Uh, I do see some form of hostilities. I don't know if that's from the staff towards her. It may be, so she should be careful and make sure, like, you know, she just takes care of herself. Because there may be some hostility from staff. I'm not sure who this thinking man is or what this is. Or maybe this is honestly just staff kind of like, okay, how are we going to do this? Because we have Angel of Balance. So they're, they're trying to find a way to work with something um, in relation to Gabby. Like, okay, we got to make sure, we got we to gotta figure this out. How are we going to, how are we going to do this? We need to make sure that her schedule is that she can go out and she can do this or she can do that, but she can come, but she has enough time to come back here 
and you know practice and do this and do that so it's it's something um it's there's something that they're working on with her the thinking man and the angel of balance okay they're trying to work on a way to kind of make sure that she's um satisfied and she has time to do whatever she wants to do and um yeah but I definitely see that there are some staff that aren't fond of her already. There's staff that's already not fond of her. Um, Gabby may also be another one who's a, she's a lover. Like she's, you know, she'll probably be one to like hug and, and play like cheerful, cutesy kind of personality. But we'll see. I don't. I, I haven't seen anything really of the two, but the um, caring connection is out here. But hostilities land over it, so I'm worried that maybe because of ho the last homegirl, they may be a little bit weary about Gabby being friendly. So Gabby should probably just you know be careful and slowly start to um, feel out you know slowly start to feel things out before um, she gets a little bit too comfortable because um, yeah there may be they may be a little bit weary staff at least okay so let me see do I want to use the same deck to figure out how the rest of the black swan members are feeling towards her or do I just want to use my tarot I don't know. I think I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use my tarot to figure out how the Black Swan members are feeling towards the girls. Um, yeah. And then I'm also, of course, going to use the tarot to kind of see. Um. To kind of see, like, if, okay, ah, how the uh, how their career is going to go with the members. Okay. Wonderful. So all of these are up right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's see how this is going to go for the girlies. How are the members feeling about? Sh oh, okay. Okay. These are Gabby's. Okay. How are the members feeling about Shreya? Something flipped over. Well, since we started off with Gabby, let's go ahead and just continue with Gabby. How the members ooh, feeling about Gabby? These cards are aggressive. Now, why in the world? Hold on, y'all. Okay. Okay, so I'm mm, let me pull mm, let me pull for Shreya. How are they feeling about Shreya? I 
see there's going to be issues with both girls, to be honest. Starting off with Gabby since her cars come out. Almost parallel to Shreya's. There's the card for victory. Victorious. Because on the top of Shreya's we have victory. Now on how the members personally feel. We start off victory for Gabby. Right? But immediately we have this three of swords. So we do have a heartbreak. A sorrow. There is something just didn't. It just didn't turn out right. And there's sort of a sadness. We have Eight of Pentacles in reverse. There is it, there's going to be issues allegedly for entertainment purposes only with Gabby and working. And I'm so sorry, but I'm seeing similar issues. But so it's Gabby and working, as well as this Four of Pentacles, are kind of wanting to have a lot more than she's worked for at least according to the company's standards or the members standards excuse me because this is about how the members feel we also have this four of swords in reverse so at least it was if it were upright it wouldn't it would be bad but not too too bad it would be understandable but as this four of swords is in reverse it's like it's something about her like being too tired lethargic wanting to sleep Wanting to go to bed, wanting to just, oh, I can't do this. Like, you know, I practice for 30 minutes, I'm tired, I'm going to go to sleep. Like, that. And I think that's why at first it's like they're seeing a lot of potential for her. Potential for her. That's why it's also over flexibility. Gabby may have some, they may start to see some potential for her. But it just kind of goes down here. Although she has potential, although she can do these things... Or they can get her to learn how to do these things. Um, she doesn't want to do it. She may not want to do it. Again, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Please don't eat me up in the comments. But she may not want to do it. So the member, it seems like the members may overall start to kind of like the feelings towards her go downhill. Um, especially it's like she's not working enough. She, she's asking for way too much. She... You know, and then it's like she's sleeping too much. She's not getting up and, and doing what she's supposed to do. Now, on Shreya's side, it's almost similar. Like, I don't think, I don't know if either one of them is going to be, can adjust to the work ethic immediately. Because even for Shreya, we have the hermit in reverse. So her staying in her room, like, and I feel like there's um, a lack of communion, communion. So her staying in her room and not really kind of coming out when people when there's time to come out when people kind of want to see her. We have the moon here because um, I feel like what it is is they are they may miss they may misunderstand her. I think there may be a misunderstanding from the members to Shreya at first. So it's like they're not understanding why she won't come out. Why she won't, you know, spend time. But it's like, I do feel like that then kind of um, goes away. Because I see them seeing, kind of going out of the limb to kind of reach her. And that works more. There's also this male. I don't know if there's, I don't know. It's the same man. Okay. There is a male that is around her. Like, you see how this king holding the coin? Look at this. It's, a, it's in two different decks. One's an oracle, one's a tarot. Two different decks. There is some man that is going to be around her. And honestly, she does not want to deal with this man. So, um, they need to be careful and protect Shreya from any um, men of power or, or that may immediately have an interest in her. Because even with the Seven of uh, Wands and this, uh, this Justice, who made me immediately think of Queen of Swords, she's not interested. Um, 
But I, I do think that um, if we think about it in a different way, though, if we think about it in a different way, there's probably business interest in Shreya. So there may be sort of like, hey, come on, like they, they really want to see you like or, you know, the, the, the whoever's in charge or like they're really interested in you. They really want to see you. I know you're shy. I know you're nervous. Come on out, like do something. There may be that kind of energy instead around her, like. But there is interest in Shreya. There's there's a lot of interest in Shreya. Because she can absolutely follow through with anything that they, you know, that they can put on her. She is, she may have a little more trouble, which it, it's really odd to me. I've seen something of Shreya. Shreya doesn't seem so shy to me. But it does seem like there may be trouble of kind of getting her to come out of her shell. Allegedly. There may be. Maybe. So, that's where their biggest struggle for Shreya will come with. Is that trying to get her to come out of her shell when people are interested in looking for her. Like, come on. Like, there are there, um, people who, who want to see you who are, are willing to pay to get you to come out and, and, and say something or do something. Or, like, come show the company or sh come show them. Your, it's something like that. I don't really know how to put it. But they, they're like, it's like trying to pull her out of her shell. Trying to pull her to come out and, and display her gifts and her talents. Um, and, and so it may be a little difficult to do that at first. But then it's like I said, it seems like they realize maybe we're, it's not that she's shutting us out. Maybe we just have to go about this a different way. Which they do. Um, which they do. And, um, you know, they find out some things, figure some things out, and, and I do think it kind of, it kind of turns out better for her in the end. It's like, it, it at least it shows me from the way it starts off with Treya, with the members, it starts off more in the negative and ends more in the, um, would I say positive? I would say in a satisfactory, a satisfactory ending. Where it starts off very positive with Gabby and kind of ends in a in, in like a disappointment um, with Gabby. So uh, my advice for both of the girls, um, for Shreya, so if you're not already kind of like open or spunky and being able to speak to people like or communicate with them in a friendly manner, probably work on that or work on trying to go out with them a little more. Um, just being open and available for uh, the other members when they're interested in being around you for Gabby um, I know things are gonna be hard and it's gonna be so difficult to kind of get used to the schedules and the hours of routines and all of that but you're gonna have to pick yourself up if you gotta pack some energy drinks and or whatever you need to do to kind of boost your morale to boost your energy to try to keep up with the rest of them you've got to do that like, and you got to be strong. You can't be crying, you know, if something goes wrong or, you know, I'm, it's probably going to be real hard. But you can't do that. It's understandable, but you can't do that because it's going to end up being a bad look. So that's my advice for these two girls for their situation. Um, yeah, it's somebody, it's somebody with money. And it could be somebody, I'm, mm. I don't know if it's like somebody with money over here by Shreya or if it's just this is talking about some, you know, a, a, like a CEO or someone, someone of someone who's just like, I need to see what she's capable of. I'm not sure, you know, but um, yes. So lastly, I'm going to go ahead and pull to see what um, what in the world, how the how the group is going to fare off. I may come back and do a double reading and do like each individual member towards the girls. Yeah. Oh my god, I just realized Gabby's the youngest. Okay. Yeah, okay, boom. Another piece of advice for Gabby. Um, especially as she's the youngest. Please. I want to say be careful with using that mock privilege 
like, I mean, be careful with using that Machne privilege, especially earlier on the game. Like, wait till you get that praise for do for being, you know, a real hard worker or like being able to really, really hold your own before you pull the Machne card, you know. Uh, the, the the I can I can get what I want because I'm the baby kind of card before you do that please make sure you solidify yourself and your skills before you try to jump into that role with the members very important okay yeah for now mm -hmm. I want to pull something from these cards and then I'm going to close out. I think I'm still going to focus on the members towards them. So let's go for Gabby, I guess. Let's start off with Gabby. Oh no, they said Shreya. Start with Shreya. These two? And then Gabby, are those for Gabby or are those for Shreya? I can't tell. Gabby? I guess that's it. Is this it? Oh, it's a lot, it's a lot for Shreya. Yeah, for, Sh I'm sorry, it's a lot for, Get um, it's a lot for Shreya and little for Gabby, but again, it always starts on bright and then... Like, you know how I just said, and I'm going to start with Gabby first. You know how I just said that Gabby needs to be careful just to ease into things, ease into skinship, ease into Machne privilege. Please do so. So it's like they're going to be happy with Gabby immediately. But the serpent, a sly and subtle approach is needed. And again, the snake, be careful. So just be very careful with your approach. Please make sure you, you get their consent. You, you make sure you're they're comfortable with you make sure you don't overdo it and 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 push those boundaries this was in reverse i think this was in reverse too but i'm gonna just read this however shreya is very smart she's very grounded and she's and she, I'm going to be honest, she tries very hard to protect her energy. I do think, I'm going to, you know what, I'm not even going to end it here because I got to do how they feel about each other. Because I'm going to reuse these cards too. Because I do feel like there may be, <coughs> excuse me, a jealousy towards Gabby that develops. There may be a jealousy and envy that happens towards Gabby. Gabby. Okay, yeah, there's a there's an energy that Shreya may develop allegedly for entertainment purposes towards Gabby. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna just say it. You know, we gonna get into we gonna get into some um, what they call it uh, um, anyway, look. Basically, I do think Shreya may get to a point where she realizes it, it's one of those things, you know how at least for anybody who's black or uh POC um in a in a in a your uh, how do I put it? You know how they say we got a term that it's like you have to be twice as good to get half as much. Shreya is going to have to find that out the hard way. She's going to have to find that out the hard way, that you have to be twice or three times as good to get half as much. Um, and that is going to bring out a kind of a, a, a bitterness. Um, because I see Shreya's kind of seeing, and, and I'm getting that this is towards Gabby. I feel like Shreya is going to see or notice that there is a certain privilege 
that Gabby may get or an immediate um, likeness that Gabby may get that she does that she's not immediately rewarded as well. It's like Shreya will eventually be like, okay, like why is it that you know I'm I'm still putting in all these hours and all of this and doing all of this as, as I'm supposed to, and she gets to get off early to go to sleep because she's tired. Allegedly, I'm not saying this happened, I'm just saying exam as an example of what the energy could be like or end up being like. She's going to feel like that there, allegedly, she may possibly feel like, you know, there's, there's less authority given to her than there is put on Shreya herself. Or like, there's less criticism towards Gabby than there is on Shreya herself. Kind of like, almost like these kind of sibling rivalry kind of things but not really it's just like um when you're not the baby <laughs> when you're not the baby and it's just like why 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 does she get that and i gotta i have to um i have to go and get all the groceries and put it away or i gotta wash up do all the chores and she get to play games kind of like that so there is that um also This is for both of them in a sense that I feel like I know I, I initially pulled this for how the members would feel towards them. By the way, I didn't. Uh, yeah, no, I, did I finish this? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna come back. But um, I'm just going off what I'm feeling, and not my light going out. And again, there is there is this attention and interest that is going to be around Shreya um, that I don't think she's going to be very fond of, to be honest. I just think she needs to be, like, watched and taken care of because it may start to stress her out or wear her down. So she just needs to be taken care of or watched over. Um, definitely make sure that she's comfortable. Again, like I, I was showing, like kind of locking herself away or like kind of being a little bit closed off. I think they're just, just be careful. Um, like, like be cautious. That's the word, like cautious. And I would say that, you know, check in on her. Hey, are you comfortable? Are you sure? Is there somebody that makes you nervous or uncomfortable? Do you want me to be with you when, you know, if certain people are around, whatever it is. Just check in on her. I can't pinpoint what it is, but there may be something or it may be a situation, a person, or it could just be the overwhelming stress, um, the overwhelming work of business that may have her kind of go through a, a, a moment of her kind of shutting down. Gabby should be fine, though. I think Gabby gonna have fun. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this and also one of my tarot decks to kind of see how they're gonna how they feel about each other. Allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, I cannot stress it enough. Okay, please take all of this with a grain of salt. It is for entertainment. Okay, how does Gabby feel towards Shreya? I hope they get along, to be honest. How does Gabby feel towards Shreya? No, nothing? Okay. Uh, Nothing is really come okay. How does Shreya feel towards Gabby? Maybe I need to use a different deck. That's probably what I need to do. Because this deck doesn't really have anything that's trying to really come out. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for uh, Shreya because, like, nothing's really coming out. Um, oh, like, towards Gabby, yeah. 
yeah. Okay, from Gabby towards Treya, again, um, we have serendipity, happiness, so like bright prospects, you are on the horizon, we also have you are safe from harm, the shield, so Gabby may, you know, in, in one sense, be a form of a protector, I'm not sure yet, but like, you know, kind of like making sure, Gabby will check in on Shreya. Um... Gabby, Gabby also will notice these things. I'm telling you, it's some sort of male energy that's going to be around Shreya that needs to just, you know, they need to be careful of. Because I feel like Gabby sees it. Um, but Gabby doesn't really, it doesn't seem like Gabby understands it. Because she's, with the green men, it's like the forces of nature favor you. She's like, oh my God, you're so pretty. Or like, you know, that. that's why like people are attracted to you, are interested in you, you're pretty. But also over it is the chimera. It says imagination clouds your judgment. Almost like, I feel like she's, it, it's like saying that you're not really seeing it for what it actually is. Or like, you know, maybe it's like, you don't realize that she may be uncomfortable. This also could be um, her admiring a sense of what Gabby's doing or how Gabby, I'm sorry, imagining, sorry, her having um, an admiration for what Shreya is doing or how Shreya works, but also not realizing, um, I guess, maybe the, the stress behind it. Like, you're kind of stuck in a la-la land sort of place. Um, Gabby, like I said, Gabby's very youthful. She's young. She's 17. She's pretty much excited about everything. Right now, she's living out her brightest fantasy. She's living out her brightest fantasy right now. So I don't think it's, I don't think she's realizing um, some of the seriousness, uh, the, some of the depth of things that is that happen around them. Not yet, at least. For Shreya towards Gabby, um, we have the wizard. It says, use your skills to aid others. So she wants Gabby to kind of show what she's capable of, bring out more of her talents. She's like, come on, like, let's, let's get into it. Show them what you're capable of. Show them what you can do. And we have the griffin, honor and good luck. So she's hoping for the best for Gabby as well. So right now they're pretty, they're pretty, they're pretty decent towards each other. They have, um... Shreya's kind of more on some, you know, a very good luck. I come on. I hope you can show your your skills um, to them and show them that you're worthy. And Gabby is very much um, some. Oh my God! Hey, like kind of very cheerful. Are you okay? How are you doing? You're good. Like you're 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 solid. You're in here. She's just like kind of cheerful, or at least has this cheerful, positive energy. Um, that's kind of my camera cut but basically saying that um Gabby just has a very cheerful positive energy around her she has very good spirits and enthusiasm and I think that's her best honest that's her best trait it's a really positive bright um uplifting attitude kind of like going into um everything kind of like excited to do it um Yes, yeah, right. It's more calm, reserved, grounded. Um, she watches and sees things around her. She's kind of like she does have a, a, a mentality um, of how do I put this? Like she she's not unguarded. She's guarded, but like it's like something like you know when you get to a certain age, you know not to take ev you know everything that for granted, or you know. To just be extra careful of your surroundings and what you're doing. It's that kind of cautiousness around her, but she's still very, like, it's like a grounded, like, I'm on a, I'm on um, this plane where I'm like, I'm thinking about real life. I'm thinking about, like, she's, she does have a more serious tone to her. Not all the way through, it's just, okay, I have to acknowledge I'm in a different country, I gotta know how to work understand the people understand the culture i know this is about to be a business this is a job i have to show up on time i have to do this like she's very much taking things very seriously um so her energy may not be as relaxed as gabby's um because like i said they're kind of going about this and approaching things in a very different ways so where um shreya may end up mentally 
more mentally and emotionally exhausted, Gabby is going to end up more physically exhausted. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and close this out with just a um, reading. Um, uh, just to see how they're going to do as a part of Black Swan. You know, I kind of want to use a different deck. I keep looking at this other deck over here. But I'm going to pull from both because I can't. Uh, um, I still see like the group kind of barely kind of floating barely getting by I feel like there's still just going to be this one person who's keeping the group alive and active okay how is Black Swan going to fare off with their two members two new members how's the group going to What's, what's next for the group? How are we looking? Hmm. Okay, now my Eight of Pentacles is upright. But, Who's a fire sign? Let me see. I need to find out who's a fire sign. Batu. Okay. I legit thought Fatu was going to be an earth sign. Wow, Shreya is gorgeous. Yeah, um, I'm going to be honest. I see, still see them, um... Diving off of Fatu, to be honest. Like, they're going to realize... I also feel like it's kind of, like, low-key. There's going to be this thing of realization. Like, and maybe we were good before. Maybe we were better off before. Um, I, I was hoping for a more positive <laughs> look, but I guess not. There is... Either that, where it's like more of Fatu is going to... Is this another fire sign? Yeah. Fatu is going to still kind of like be working uh, the hardest. And it may end up kind of tiring her out. It keeps giving me these fire signs. I got the queen, the king, the knight. Um, yeah. She, they, she may end up actually being the one overworking. Um, well, dang, so there's nothing really telling me too much. Okay, the young, the young, the young earth sign is coming out. Shreya needs to be careful. Shreya um, may be her own downfall. I mean, I, I really hate that that's, you know, that's what I'm seeing, but Shreya may be her own downfall. She has to be careful.
Yeah, she has to be careful. I'm not sure what it is that she may do. Um, oh, again, it's something about a love lover or love interest. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's the youngest. Yeah, I don't know. She may... Oh, she is the baby. When I looked, this said Shreya was born in uh, 2022. Shreya is the baby. She's got to be careful. I don't know where. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure what's going on around Shreya. Yeah, but she just, she just, she just got to be careful. That's all I have. Um, I don't really see something too big as of yet with Black Swan. Um kind of like either taking off or flopping. I'm not seeing either one. I'm hoping for the best for the entire group. I want to support them. I'm, I'm excited to see new music or content come out for them. I do hope that um, the company puts all their money into their music video and their songs um, and their style, please. Oh my God. Their outfits. I hope their outfits are better than what I've seen but um yeah um baby girl needs to be careful I don't know what is around her um it's like she has everything but luck on her side but yeah that's what I have for black swan let me know if you guys have any um questions or um, if you want me to do a full personality reading for either of the members or both of them, um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. On my Patreon, I have all kinds of readings like this over there available that have not been released onto YouTube. So if you want to see them, go check those out. Uh, also, follow me on Twitter to get updates on what's going on or even just to give insight on what, you, what kind of readings you want to see on the channel. Yeah, um, and I hope to see you guys again next time in the line set. Bye.